Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss quadratic equations. Now, the general form of quadratic equation in x is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is not equal to 0 and a, b, c are the constants. That is, if a is equal to 0, then this equation does not remain a quadratic equation. So, this equation is called the general form of the quadratic equation in x. Now here x is a variable and in this equation, that is in the quadratic equation, the highest power of the variable is 2. And now let us discuss the solution of the quadratic equation. Now, the general form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is not equal to 0. Or we can write it as ax square plus bx is equal to minus c which further implies now dividing throughout by a it will be x square plus b by a into x is equal to minus c over a. Now we will complete the square on the left hand side. For this we will add and subtract the square of half the coefficient of x on the left hand side which implies x square plus b by a into x plus b square by 4a square minus b square by 4a square is equal to minus c over a now this implies x square plus now this term can be written as 2 into x into b by 2a plus b by 2a whole square. That is this term. And now moving on this term on the right hand side. This is equal to minus c over a plus b square over 4a square. Now on this side the square is completed. That is this is equal to x plus b by 2a whole square which is equal to now on this side taking the LCM that is 4a square it will become b square minus 4ac that is on the right hand side we are getting b square minus 4ac whole upon 4a square now taking the square root this implies x plus b over 2a is equal to plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a. Now this further implies x is equal to minus b over 2a plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a which further implies x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a. Now, we were supposed to find out the solution of this equation. That means we have to find out the value of x. That is, we have to find out the roots of an equation. That is, this equation now the roots are the values of the variable satisfying a given equation. Now we have got the values of x. That is, we have got the roots of the given quadratic equation. So the roots of the given quadratic equation are minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a 
and minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a. That is, these values of the variable x will satisfy the given quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And now let us discuss equations reducible to quadratic equations. Now let us discuss the type 1. Now let us see how to reduce the equation of the type a into x raised to power 2n plus b into x raised to power n plus c is equal to 0 to quadratic equation. Now to reduce the given equation to a quadratic equation put x raised to power n is equal to z in the given equation and then we get az square plus bz plus C is equal to 0. So the given equation is reduced to a quadratic equation in Z. Now let us discuss this type with the help of an example. Here we have to solve x raised to power 2 by 3 minus 4 is equal to 0. Now for the solution put x raised to power 1 by 3 is equal to z and then we get that is this equation can be written as x raised to power 1 by 3 whole raised to power 2 minus 4 is equal to 0 and now we will put x raised to power 1 by 3 is equal to z here So it will be z square minus 4 is equal to 0. Now it is a pure quadratic equation in z. Now this implies z square is equal to 4 which implies z is equal to plus minus 2. Now x raised to power 1 by 3 is equal to z implies x raised to power 1 by 3 is equal to, now taking z is equal to plus 2. This implies, now cubing both sides, x is equal to 8. And similarly, for z is equal to minus 2, we get x is equal to minus 8. Now let us discuss the type 2. Now in this the equation of the form az plus b by z is equal to c where a, b and c are the constants is reduced that is this type of equation is reduced to a quadratic equation. Now let us discuss this type with the help of an example. Now here solve x plus 3 whole upon 2x plus 1 plus 2 into 2x plus 1 whole upon x plus 3 the whole minus 3 is equal to 0. Now this is the equation in this form. Now for its solution, we will put x plus 3 whole upon 2x plus 1 is equal to z. And this implies 
by taking the reciprocal on both the sides. 2x plus 1 whole upon x plus 3 is equal to 1 by z. Now let this be equation number 1. So putting these values, that is putting these values in 1, we get z plus 2 into 1 by z, the whole minus 3 is equal to 0, which implies z square plus 2 minus 3z is equal to 0, which further implies z square minus 3z plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, the given equation is reduced in the form of quadratic equation in z. And now we will solve this quadratic equation by splitting the middle term. So this implies z square minus 2z minus z plus 2 is equal to 0, which further implies z into z minus 2 the whole minus 1 into z minus 2 the whole is equal to 0 which further implies z minus 1 the whole into z minus 2 the whole is equal to 0, which gives z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2. Now, this is the value of z. So for z is equal to 1, x plus 3 whole upon 2x plus 1 is equal to 1, which implies x plus 3 is equal to 2x plus 1, which further gives x is equal to 2. And now, for z is equal to 2, x plus 3 whole upon 2x plus 1 is equal to 2, which implies x plus 3 is equal to 4x plus 2, which implies x is equal to 1 by 3. So this is the solution of the given question. And now let us discuss the type 3, that is, the equation of the form x plus a the whole into x plus b the whole into x plus c the whole into x plus d the whole plus k is equal to 0. That is, when the sum of two of the quantities is equal to the other two. Now by quantities we mean a, b, c and d. So these type of equations, that is, the equation in this form in which the sum of any of the two quantities is equal to the sum of the other two quantities. Now let us discuss this type with the help of an example. Here we have to solve x plus 5 the whole into x plus 1 the whole into x minus 1 the whole into x plus 3 the whole plus 16 is equal to 0. Now for the solution, first of all we will check that the sum of any of the two quantities is equal to the sum of the other two quantities. Now let us check the first two quantities and these two quantities, that is 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 and minus 1 plus 3 is equal to 2. That means the sum of these two quantities is not equal to the sum of these two quantities. Now consider 5 and minus 1 and 1 and 3. So here, 5 plus of minus 1 is equal to 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. 
and 1 plus 3 is also equal to 4. So here 5 plus of minus 1 is equal to 4 which is equal to 1 plus 3. That means the sum of these two quantities is equal to the sum of the other two quantities. Now for the solution we will multiply x plus 5 the whole and x minus 1 the whole and here we will multiply x plus 1 the whole and x plus 3 the whole. So we will write it as x plus 5 the whole into x minus 1 the whole into x plus 1 the whole into x plus 3 the whole plus 16 is equal to 0. Therefore, the multiplication will give x square plus 4x minus 5 the whole into x square plus 4x plus 3 the whole plus 16 is equal to 0. Now here we will put x square plus 4x is equal to y and this implies y minus 5 the whole into y plus 3 the whole plus 16 is equal to 0 which further implies on solving this y squared minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have reduced the given equation in the form of quadratic equation in y. Now this is y minus 1 whole square. So this implies y minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 which further implies y is equal to 1 and 1. Now for y is equal to 1 now y is equal to x square plus 4x so x square plus 4x is equal to 1 which implies x square plus 4x minus 1 is equal to 0 therefore by using the formula for finding out the roots x is equal to minus b that is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square that is 16 minus 4ac will give plus 4 all upon 2a that is 2 so this is equal to minus 4 plus minus root 20 all upon 2 which is equal to minus 2 plus minus root 5 in the same way Again for y is equal to 1, we will get x is equal to minus 2 plus minus root 5. So, we have got the solution for the given equation. And now let us discuss the nature or character of the roots. Now we have already discussed that for the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 these are the roots of this quadratic equation now here b square minus 4ac is called the discriminant of the equation and is denoted by d. Now the value of d decides the nature or character of the root. Now these are the various possibilities that is in the first case d is greater than 0 and if d is greater than 0 then the roots are real and unequal and further two more cases arise that is if d is greater than 0 and d is a perfect square
then in that case roots are rational that is roots are rational and unequal and if d is not a perfect square then roots are irrational that is roots are irrational and unequal now the second possibility is that if d is equal to 0 and if d is equal to 0 then the roots of the given equation are real and equal and if the discriminant is less than 0 then in that case the roots are complex or you can say the roots are imaginary now let us discuss the sum and product of the roots now let p and q be the roots of the equation that is a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 and a b c are constants now let p is equal to that is by the formula minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac 1 2 8 and q is equal to minus p minus square root of p square minus 4ac on upon 2a then the sum of the roots is equal to p plus q which is equal to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac minus b Minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a. Now here these terms are cancelled with each other, and this is equal to minus 2b over 2a, which is equal to minus b over a. And now product of the roots that is. b into q is equal to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a the whole into minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a the whole which is further equal to now here in the numerator it can be written as Minus b square, that is minus b whole square, which is b square minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole square, which is equal to minus b square minus 4ac the whole, whole upon 4a square. On solving this, this will be equal to 4ac over 4a square. Which is equal to c over a. Now from the equation, it is clear that c is the absolute term, and b is the coefficient of x, and a is the coefficient of x square. So we have got the sum of the roots is equal to minus b over a. That means it is equal to minus the coefficient of x over the coefficient of x square in the given quadratic equation and we are getting the product of the roots is equal to 
C over A, that means the absolute term over coefficient of x square in the given quadratic equation. So in this session we have learned about quadratic equation, the equation reducible to quadratic equation, then nature or character of the roots and sum and product of the roots. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.